I told myself I was gonna stop making reviews of lights, but here we are. Amaran has dropped the new 300C and 150C, two full color COB point source style lights. And the first question I asked myself is, how are they different from Aperture's 600C Pro, apart from those power level differences of 150, 300, and 600? As someone who now owns all three of these, I'm going to compare them. The Aperture 600C Pro comes in at $2,500. The Amaran 300C comes in at $569, and the 150C comes in at $359. The Amaran products are significantly more affordable, but what are you sacrificing? Let's start with build quality. The Amaran 300C and 150C are built mostly with a lightweight plastic, but metal for the bones mount and baby pin receiver slash tilting mechanism. The power supplies are DC 48 volt dirty danglers, but that also means you can use the Aperture 48 volt dual V-mount battery power supply converter to power it with V-mount batteries, though that accessory will cost you an extra $180, plus whatever batteries you decide to buy if you don't already have some. The case it comes with is what I would call a very thoughtful storage box made of pretty durable, lightweight foam that's been formed perfectly to house the Amaran fixture. Though it's not what I would call TSA safe, it is certainly an upgrade from a lot of the packaging I've seen on other lights in the same price range, and it will do a great job at keeping your light safe when it's not in use. The entire light with the case and the power supply weighs under eight pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. The Aperture Lightstorm 600C Pro is made out of what feels like much longer lasting materials. The handle on the back of the head is rubberized for a more comfortable grip. It has an extremely rigid and slightly curved yoke to make pointing it downward while using large modifiers easier. It doesn't have a dirty dangler, but it does have a big control unit that you can mount to a C-stand so you can configure your light without having to be right behind the head. And it has built-in V-mount battery support. The case that it comes with is also significantly better and should last much longer. The entire unit with the control box weighs about 24 pounds. The head itself is 13 pounds. So with double the power and the addition of many pro features, the weight is also significantly increased. There are a lot of similarities between these sets of lights though. They're all using RGBWW chips. They both have great color quality. Both work with Citus Link and both use Bowen's mount accessories. If you need to use DMX or Lumen Radio, like I do to control your lights, then you'll need to lean towards the Aperture 600C Pro because that's not offered on the Amaran lights. There's also a silent mode with the Aperture 600C, which I like to use, which prevents the fans from ever turning on. If the 150 or 300C get too hot, the fans will turn on until it's cool enough to turn them off. But at this point, that probably wouldn't cause any issues for your audio because the fans are super improved compared to what I've seen on the previous Amaran lights. But if it's gonna rain or you're filming in a really dusty location, you're still gonna wanna pack up the Amaran lights, but you should be fine with the Aperture 600C Pro It'll keep on trucking because it's rated for those conditions. The interface and configuration options available on the Aperture 600C Pro are much more configurable with many more options than what's available on the Amaran lights, particularly on the onboard interface. All you get with the Amaran's onboard interface is the CCT plus or minus green magenta or HSI without a color temperature setting. Any other special effects or other options you want to use require Citus Link. The onboard interface is Really nice if you're only configuring a couple of lights to do just one thing, and that's perfect for home studio use cases. Is color quality an issue? No, the Aperture 600C is technically a tiny bit better, which may help you if you're trying to take like documentational video of historical paintings and get those exact colors matched to the exact right shade if you want. But for 98% of people, you're really not gonna be able to tell a difference. Actually, the Amaran 150C and 300C seem like they were made for content creators and home studios, or even professional studios if you know that those lights aren't going to be moved around too much. You can achieve almost the same things you can with the Amaran lights as you can with the Aperture lights in terms of reaching your final image, aside from the higher output of the Aperture 600C Pro. The Amaran lights will keep the last setting that you left them at, so if you just put them on like a power strip and then attach that to a light switch, you can just flip that light switch and then turn your whole studio on and you won't have to worry about reconfiguring them every time. The workflow of the Aperture 600C is just a little bit more lending to the professional and unpredictable and changing environments though, where wasting time getting things set up for each scene might cost you money. But getting down to reality here, if you're considering getting a light like the Amaran 150C or 300C to just throw into your home studio, you absolutely won't be disappointed and you can save about two grand. If you need the pro features, you probably already know who you are and why the Aperture Lightstorm 600C might make more sense to you. Even then, you'll probably still start seeing a lot more of the Amaran stuff being used in professional environments. And if you need remote power, I would suggest instead of getting that V-mount 
power converter that you consider getting something like a solar generator or a power station. I've been using the Anchor Powerhouse 767 to power my whole studio for the past couple months and it's charged just by some solar panels that are in my backyard. There's lots of affordable options for portable AC power now. Anyways, links in the description if you want to grab them. Peace.